Hello guys, welcome back to the new episode of Project Hospital. Let's continue our game. We have less, we already have our hospitalization. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I actually remember saving. I actually see I think I even saved it like right hold on. Hold on for a quick second. She is being She is just transferred to the EECG. Oh gosh. So apparently. Are you serious? Okay guys, sorry. A quick check here because this is this is like crazy. I do remember saving this and apparently it didn't just doesn't remember the saving. I mean it could be possibly, but I mean that's crazy. <sighs> okay, well, anyway, let's just continue. Let's just do it. Um, it's really... I'm going really crazy right now. At least... Okay, we do what we have to do. Anyway, so waiting for players Joseph Davis. Okay, we're going to get rid of all these people. Lisa Taylor is our person, so we need that one. I'm actually going to go crazy right now. Nancy Jones, I don't think we need her. We have waiting for player is Joseph Davis is there. Okay. Uh, waiting for player is Lisa Lee. Okay. And who else is waiting for the player? I am actually right now flabbergasted. Adam Jones, J James Adams, sorry, this guy here. Yes, we know that. We noticed that already. Cardiology, nobody. Nobody here, but look at that. Three people are already being treated. That's a good thing. Two people are treated. Okay. So apparently, guys, uh, we failed somehow to save again, which is just unbelievable for me like i i i don't know how it could happen which means that's what happens when you're rushing things i guess so that means that again probably if you watched my last episode some of it is going to be feel like a replay because this poor woman is just going for the exam and we already done that so that's really annoying anyway this one is easy let's just quickly go through whatever we have now, you know what, because we already saw her going there, I'm just going to go a bit quicker right now. And this guy here, what does he need? He needs pulmonary artery blockage, could be if you have, if you, you could check it with an angiography. Oh, hold on. Medium, medium. Okay. So we could do an angiography to make sure that, oh wait, no. No need, because this is what he would get anyway. Okay, physical would give him anti-inflammatory cream and everything. So let's do a physical. Uh, let's do a chest. Okay. What else? Um, the rest would just give, give him whatever we're already giving him. So let's just go with that. Okay. And this next guy is going to have, in the meantime, our... Oh, wait. Uh, Christopher Barkley, but we actually have a few people here that we have to go through. So, let's go to Joseph David. He needs... Oh, he's actually doing the microbial cultivation. He just do, did one of the testing, blood pressure measurement, but he still needs microbial cultivation. So, we're just going to let him go. Hold on. 
Lisa Lee, sorry, oh gosh, we are making a mess of it. Uh, Lisa Lee is waiting for the player, so actually we already found his problem, tonometry. We don't need that, we already have the eye drop, so basically we're just going to have release it to the right people. Frank Wilson is examined. Christopher Bucky waiting for the paper, uh, uh, waiting for the player. So let's actually give him a chest oscillation. And he has some blisters, burn wound, burn wood, wound and everything. But we definitely have to go to a traumatology. So send him over to traumatology. Let them do that. Okay. So they're gonna do a chest oscillation, and I think that's all what they need to do anyway. So we have that, we have that, we have waiting for the player, Joseph Davids, we already, I told you that we just let him go because he's still needing some others. And this person is being checked. She's already on the bed right there, you see? And then go to Margaret Young, who has PCF for sure. Oral cavity we cannot do. Okay, this one was the... No, it wasn't. Uh, neck palpation would give him SNAs, but we already did that, and it didn't work out. Physical, no need. Physical, physical. PCR testing would give him eye drops, which he already gets. He already getting the pain medicine, and the only thing that he doesn't get is some NSAs. And it would be a low issue. So let's just treat this person as well. All right, they are checking out our patient right now. In the meantime, let's go to David King. He has weakness. Okay, in which case, I have no idea what I did last time, but what I would do now is a physical... Um, uh, I would do a chest and I would do a blood uh, a blood pressure management and temperature. Okay? And how about you? Red eye. Yeah, I think I think we saw that before, but he is actually still doing. He just did microbial sampling. Okay? But he's still she's still doing serologic testing and microbial cultivation. So, let's just let him go and Back to Lisa, our famous, our, our favorite uh, patient, and she has irregular heartbeat. So we're going to give him some beta blockers for sure. Other than that, let's see what else he needs. Okay. Uh, let's see what they're going to do with him, because he will have to have a blood pressure and angiography as well. So I'm going to go back to normal speed because I think that's more or less where we got, okay? And we're going to go for OK here because we already gave him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go again, keep an eye on her. She's still there and she's going to, they're going to transport it to her room. Actually, she should go for some other exam, so I don't know why they are transporting back her to the room. Chest pain, irritable cough. Uh, we already did a ton of things with him. Let's see what we're missing here. Uh, hold on, wrong one, okay. So let's see what we're missing here. We have physical, of course, we already did that, so that's not a question. Uh, ECG, we have already done that, I believe. Didn't we? E -E ECG, yes. Blood pressure, yes. And geography? We did it, and it didn't find anything. That's crazy. Blood pressure, and geography... Uh, do, 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 do. What else can it be? We did do the uh, some blood tests, right? 
I mean, we, look at that. We are running out of things that we can do. We can do microbial, x-ray, differential, and biopsy. Although we could do an echo, but then it would be in cardiology. So let's actually see first. Um, and we could do a CT, but apparently, hold on, we already did a CT, didn't we? Yeah, we did a CT, and that doesn't found anything. So that's getting kind of crazy. So biopsy sampling, microbial sampling, differential diagnosis, x-ray, chest. Okay, she has a chest pain. Um, now, the CT didn't find anything that's kind of weird, but let's do a microbial sampling. Okay. And I'm thinking it's 320. Should I actually have him come and stay in the hospitalization, in the observation room? I'm not sure. Right now, I don't want to do that yet. Okay, so we're going to do an x ray. Or am I right? Let's, stay, let's do an x-ray. Uh, I think it's too early to do a differential. Now let's see what will show if a CT... Is there anything that we can actually like find out easily? No, unfortunately not. So this is actually right away give us some difficulty echo yeah the echo could give him some information but the echo can only be done in the cardiography unit which is basically i think we can reach it from almost anywhere else okay we can do it for cardiology actually i think we did that this echo is actually sh no this ecg MRI, PCR testing. We've done all that. That's crazy. Biopsy would give him, you know, we find these ones. MRI. I mean, it's either... Actually, I've seen more places in MRI than a chest. So let's go, let's go an MRI. And let's just let him go for now. And in the meantime, we are back to like normal speed, which is a little bit slower than normal. Because I want to see what's going on. This nurse is just going to take a crap somewhere. All right, what do you have here? Um, yeah, we already know all of this. So nothing would actually give us anything extra. The chest oscillation actually gave us some breathing problems. So we need to give him some bronchodilators but other than that nothing new so let's just treat this guy okay he is getting there now i'm gonna give him the bronchodilators because he does have a breathing problem i don't think i need the ice rep because the swelling is just light okay so we don't give him that okay this guy has this woman has a headache and that gives me a headache because a headache can mean like literally anything. So let's do a physical. Let's do. Um, let's do a temperature test first. And just a headache, right? So let's do. Maybe just in case a blood because a, a low blood pressure could actually co you know show a lot of serious problems. And it's very quick to do. And maybe a chest oscillation. Okay, let's just do that. In the meantime, she's still just laying there and waiting for somebody to take him. Graves disease. Okay, he needs some antithyroids. Very easily. But this one is actually, that's what it's giving, giving him. However, it has to be in... Does it have to be there? Yes, it has to be, unfortunately, in the general surgery. Now, as general surgery, we have how many people now? Only one. Okay, there is some space over there. So go over to general surgery, please, 
and treat him with grave disease all right that's pretty much it um i don't think that we can find anything else physical would give him diet modification uh that uh, physical beta blockers maybe if he's tremoring so maybe we should do a physical blood pressure we did and that's where we i oh no blood pressure didn't show anything unfortunately the blood test showed something ecg we are done so yeah let's head over and let's do a physical before doing anything however let's actually start him on the antithyroids okay so we make sure that he's okay and he should be able to go right away because the place is empty so he can actually go there obviously he is still going to be in danger until he actually gets there now chest contusion broken lips and thrombo flatibis but that is only one thing we can do is usg so i think duh we're gonna do a usg all right i don't think that we have a lot of uh choice in the matter And we are still watching now. We are going in a slow, like the slowest pace right now. Because I want to see, somebody should come over with a stretcher. Oh, that's the one. Look at that. Somebody's coming with a stretcher already for her. From the other side of the world. Okay, the same thing here. Look at that. The same thing here. But this guy at least have the chance of having a differential diagnosis. So let's do that. So the stretcher is going over there, I believe, to pick her up. While we are doing all the other ones. Okay, so he already got... No, he hasn't. Hyperthyroidism. So he still has a lot of different possibilities, but it's in general surgery. Now, how many people do we have right now here? Because at the same time, I actually want to see treated 17 people. If you treat three more people, uh, we are going to get 15 more people in the in the future. So that would that could be very important. So maybe I should treat him here as long as these things are actually available here. No, they are not. Okay, so he definitely has to go to general surgery. I'm sorry for that. Now, if you're already going there, uh, I think we need to do a physical. For sure. Um, what else? Uh, it's all physical. ECG. Uh, eardrops. We don't have any other reason for eardrops yet. And we do need to do an echo, okay? Because he might have some ether atherosclerosis. That could be actually very dangerous. So let's actually go do an echo and do an odometry, okay? I'm not sure about an ECG right now. Let's do an ECG as well, okay? Okay, there you go, go into chair. And this person is nice and slowly because we are on the slow mode right now. Walks over there casually and gonna pick up our favorite patient. Now the question I'm gonna have is where is she going to go? Okay, Joseph Harris first. Uh so she did a differential diagnosis and she said okay so it's either this or this which is crazy because they they they, they sound so different blood clubs and broker ribs okay let's do a usg because apparently there is no other option that we have now again still it's one cardiology and one orthopedia which is neither of them is her but all right let's do that and as you can see in the meantime, in the background, 
we are picking up our patient. Okay, you have diabetes. Now, diabetes is obviously in this department, which again, I'm going to check out. They only treated five people today. There is only one person there. So, he has to go over right away. Um, and once he goes over, we can do an echo. Because it's very important that he doesn't have that. Because that could kill him. So let's do an echo. Uh, physical, would it make any difference? Um, tranquilizers, yeah, why not? Let's also do a physical, but basically we already know what your problem is. It's just more about like how urgent this problem is, I think. That's really the main issue here. Okay, so she is going... Let's see to where. Lisa Taylor is going transported to room, but I don't know which room. Redness. He's just red. Okay. That's kind of weird. Let's do a physical exam for sure. And just in case, let's do a temperature check, but I don't think it's really relevant. And she's been she's being trans tra transported back to the room apparently, where hopefully she's gonna get at least the necessary beta blockers. David King, what's going on? Copper has snake bite. Okay, at least we know what's wrong with you. Do we need anything? Ophthalmoscopy could be like instead of basic visual tests, right? So like a visual test kind of thing. Um, we already did physical. We cannot do anything. So let's do that up to our musket. Let, let me see if it actually works instead of basic visual test. Because I'm not sure. Okay. Urine analysis testing uh, was the last thing that happened. And apparently didn't come up with anything again. So we have three full pages with nothing coming up. And I think this guy is actually a pretty good candidate to get our next um, seat, I mean, let next bed in our place. Because this guy is just, we just don't know what to do with him. Eliza sampling, microbio sampling. Okay, so. If we do an ELISA sampling, we're basically going to figure out if he is uh, infectious disease, okay? Infectious disease would give him, you know, the ELISA testing would actually, I think that was the one that mostly find out. CT, MRI, MRI, X-ray chest, MRI, X-ray, so it's X-ray chest and MRI between that. However, I think we do the X-ray chest. So let's do an MRI first. Okay. Again, this guy so far, he's not hungry. He doesn't need to go to the bathroom. He's not too uncomfortable and he's actually still okay. He's still happy. I wouldn't be. But anyway, so let's do an MRI with him. And uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, my patient is still walking, going back there. Okay, he, she has watery eyes and a headache. Okay, at least we don't have too many different possibilities. And I believe all of them are neurological. That's good. That's a good start. Now, what do we have? Um, a basic visual test would show that she has blurry vision, which none of them do. A temperature test, already we don't have, we did a temperature test and it didn't show up anything. Neurological testing would show if he's afraid of the light, I believe. Okay. Um, a neck palpation would help him? No, that's oral cavity. We cannot do oral cavity, we can do neck palpation. If Neck palpation would show this one. What else? All of them are right in the office, so it's actually good. What else can we do here? 
I don't think that we can do too much, so... <clears throat> Judy Harris has 3% differential diagnosis ability. That's uh, not exactly what we need. So for now, let's just do these three things. By the way, we have 54%, 54 patients are already treated. We still have quite a few people. Let's see how many people. We have one person in bed and 20 others around. So actually, we do have 75, uh, 70... Seventy-five people, yeah. So we have still seventy-five people actually today all together. So if we, we that's what we that's the maximum what we have to do now. Uh, again, look at that. We cannot treat this one. So we already found every, everything. Unfortunately, we have to send him over to cardiolo cardiology. They are the only people who can give him this. So let's just do that now. Uh, you. Thrombolytics, okay, breathing problem. Sometimes they're not going to give them what they want. So I'm going to give them, give him the bronchiolitis. Other than that, please just go and treat him. All right, so she is coming back. The problem is, she does have Lisa Taylor here. She still have a ton of other things that she has to do. I guess she's coming back because I'm going to give him the beta block. Give her the beta blockers. So we can keep her safe. Copper has snake bite. Okay, evaluation differential. No need for either one of them because we know what's going on. Nothing would give him give any more information to us. So let's just treat him. That's it. It's just 180 dollars not a lot of money but whatever let's see if he gets all that he needs i think it's fine okay somebody is again i'm hearing that that means that somebody is possibly collapsing let's see who is that probably it's him charles green yes apparently nobody else is really in danger only charles green so apparently we only have eight more people that we really have to treat. One of them is this guy. Now, uh, let's see. It's so many different possibilities again that I'm not even going to attempt to figure out all of them. But before we do, I think... Uh, I think what we're still going to do, a physical chest, and let's do a temperature. Okay? He's already in the office, so he is, uh, I wouldn't say not dangerous, but, oh, come on. Everybody wants to collapse. Graves disease, yeah, okay. So you did actually have, you know, we actually did the blood pressure and it turns out that he has hypertension the good thing is we already know everything about him so he is in the right department so let's just treat him let's see if they automatically give him what we need which is the okay um let's just make sure that he gets both of these okay so an antithyroids and the anti-hypertensive medication we give him. Uh, swollen thyroid, let's go and neck palpation. Uh, what is it? Uh, NSAIDs. You know what? I'm going to actually give him the full. I don't think that he needs any of the other ones. So as long as he's not collapsing before he gets the treatment, he's fine. Okay, so this woman just comes back. Lisa Taylor is just coming back into her bed. And I believe she gets the beta blockers right away. And she's not, you know, she's getting the treatment. She's not in danger anymore. However, we still have a lot of other things to, 
do with her because there is still a possibility that she would have um, hypertension and she still actually she does she has that so why would I need an angiography hold on I think I'm gonna cancel the angiography there is no need for that let's just the blood pressure and then just treat her so I think we're actually gonna release her in just a minute which means that or should I just let her enjoy the hospitality of the hospital i'm not sure because actually it seems to me he doesn't really need that okay actually i don't think that she needs that because she is already finishing all what she needs she only needs to have a blood pressure test she's in the hospital she's in good hands she's not gonna die so you know Okay, so what did we do? Uh, Judy Harris, okay, so she tried some neck palpation on the stuff and nothing came back positive. So what are the eyes and headache? I think with the eyes, I think we do an ophthalmoscopy. Uh, actually, we should do a gonioscopy because I think that was the one that wanted to, where is it? Oh no, that's not the one. But it could be actually interesting. What I wanted to say, there was one that checked the um, how much uh, water, like one of them is actually checking like how much water you have in there. Oh no, that's gonioscopy, that's right, drainage system. So basically, if you do that, then we can see maybe if you know, if she has, like, that's why she has the watery eyes, right? So I was right. Sorry about that. Hey. And let's see. Uh, Jonioscopy is done already in the diagnostic. Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do these two, I think, for now. That should actually narrow things down so now she is treated where is the doctor going oh she's gonna do the blood pressure measurements okay so she's coming over to our patient i thought that it would be a nurse doing it like why are you wasting the time of a 72 years old bloody expensive doctor to do a blood 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 pressure many, uh, check i don't know okay so you have to go to the cardiology i apologize for that okay and just get treated there you go sorry but okay uh, i'm gonna make sure that he has bronchiolitis Pain, and I'm going to make sure that he has the analgesics because sometimes they just don't give them what they really need, okay? Okay, let's take a look at Lisa Taylor here. She is being checked for blood pressure uh, irregularities, uh, problems. There you go. Oh no, that's not her. Apparently, she's still doing it, but this guy... Okay, that's not good. So either he's burn or he has an inflammation in the vein. Are you telling me that you cannot see it from a physical exam? I just don't get it. Like, literally, that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay? Having said that, if we are already there, we are the physical. It shows we have chest pain and redness and swelling. Uh, we did chest escalation already. Apparently, nothing there. Physical USG. Let's do an abdominal palpitation. That's a simple thing to do. Uh, let's do. I 
Actually, let's do an evaluation, okay? That might be a good thing. In the meantime, meantime, Lisa Taylor, there you go. So she finished that and blood pressure, no problem. So basically, it's a funny thing. I'm actually going to let her go pretty much. Does she have analgesics? No. So since all her dangerous stuff is over, so... That's interesting. Let's do a thorax percussion if she's she's already there. She's already there anyway. Okay, we already did the blood pressure. We did the angiography. Uh, no need for the angiography. We, we know that that's the problem. Speech listening. Okay, now we can listen to her mumbling if she wants. Physical and chest escalation would give him cough su suppressions. So let's actually do that one. Now this is kind of like, can I like take her off observation? I don't know. I don't think so. So let's just do it then. I'm going to still watch her, what's going on. But at the same time, this guy, this woman, we know what's her problem and we just treat her. That's not a problem. So she's examining, she's checking her out through the big blanket. That's actually a bit funny if you ask me. Okay, so thorax percussion didn't do anything. Speech listening didn't do anything. We are doing the chest oscillation. In the meantime, time is running. We have to pay attention. Charles Green is still in danger, okay? And apparently evaluation, abdomination, nothing showed anything. So I think we need to do something more severe, something more obvious. So we have to have either some blood, I don't think it's blood test that we have to do, Let's do an ECG, I think. Pulse oximetry, hold on, we can do that. That's simple. Okay, let's do that first. He cannot do KCR and doesn't know how to do differential. Let's see if somebody else does. Eh, 5%. Does that make it worth to send him over to another doctor? I don't think so. So, let's do the pulse ox oximetry because that's very simple just to do. And he doesn't need to go anywhere. Okay, so actually he ch finished, uh, he finished, uh, what is it? Uh, chest oscillation, blood pressure. He finished everything. Speech listening, not a, no problem. So pretty much, I think we can conclude that all she needs to do is just get some medicine. Okay, for whatever reason, he is still in danger. Why is that? Okay. Probably because of this. But that's fine, because we are going to give him the anticoagulants, or whatever, however, however you say it. Patient can't be hospitalized. Something in a cardiologist is not functioning. Make it work quickly. What, 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 what? Hey, I didn't... Oh, no. Hold on. I'm going to just send him over to... I I don't want hold on 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 I don't want can I just get rid of like I I want him to get out of observation okay How do I do that 
waiting for hospitalization. No, I just okay. Hold up. So this one anticoagulants. Let's take a look. ICU office diagnosis cardiology. So that's why. Okay, let's try to do this way. I cannot send her out. How can I release her? No surgery is there, but how can I? Huh. Okay, she's shameless. That's funny. Uh, send her to another hospital? No. Select department? Yeah. I just want her to send over to cardiology, but not hospitalized. So how can I get her out? Okay, guys, if you know it, please, uh, somebody like, oh, maybe I have to first. Maybe first I have to treat her for these things. So I'm going to first send do these, okay? I'm going to first treat her for, for everything. And then when everything is suppressed, I think I can send her out, send her away maybe. I'm kind of confused right now, guys. I really don't know. The doctor doesn't seem to want to do anything with it. Which is kind of funny. Now this guy Okay, Peter King, never mind. Christopher Barkley, he was one of our... Okay. I think we're good. Uh, we cannot really... Even if we draw blood, there's nothing we can do with that. So let's just treat you. Charles Green is back here and he's still... Uh, okay, let's send him over to, okay, so it's either cardiology or traumatology, right? Uh, cardiology, we can still do an angiography first. Okay, you know what, let's do an angiography. Uh, I hope the, he has the time for that. Let's speed up the time a little bit. How about you? Are you getting some of those treatments, uh, Lisa Taylor? Not right now. We have to wait until somebody looks at her. Patients went to another hospital? You cannot be serious. I've spent so much time on you. That's a total failure, guys. That is a total failure. I'm really, really feeling bad right now. So what the heck? I spent so much on you and 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 that's that's it? Like seriously? Let's give him the beta blockers that he wants, but like that's crazy. Okay, differential diagnosis only, that's all what we can do. We don't need it, so let's actually treat him. Okay. So our first hospital patient is bailing on us. So apparently I have to be careful, because if I hospitalize somebody, I mean, I need to, maybe I have to read up on it, on it a little bit or something, because if I hospitalize somebody, I cannot just get him out of the hospital. That is horrible. Well, at least now I don't have anybody, you know, close to collapsing. That's a good thing. But we actually have very little time left. So, okay, diabetes. She doesn't have any serious issues, so let's just treat her 
with diabetes, that's good. Oh, that's so bad, look at that. They just take her away. I want to cry. I spent so much time on him. On her, I'm sorry. Are you serious? Okay, now, fine. This person, however, it's already 5.35. And maybe it just makes my whole plan totally... It has to be maybe changed. Um, regular hospitalization cannot work. Okay. Observation not available at this department. TC hospitalization. It needs a trauma center, but only for... Okay, so none of this is working. Since actually we don't know what your problem is, we go, I'm going to send her or send him over to emergency. And it's not he's not critically ill, although he might have some problem. Let's put him into observation. Okay. Let's give him some analgesics so he's feeling better. And then we can continue treating him. How about that? Let's go back to normal speed. So I'm going to see it. Let's see this guy here. Where is he going to go? So yeah, guys, I really say today, apparently, we really, really... Um, uh, failed. It is what it is. Okay, so we do have a pulmonary artery blockage, which can be fixed some thrombolytics, which is actually what we're going to give for this thing here. That's fine. What else do we have? Thorax percussion would not give you anything. USG wouldn't give you anything. Um... I mean, the same thing. So, I think that's okay. Let's just treat the guy. And he's going to actually get whatever caused him the big problem. Make sure that he has the analgesics and we're good. Now, in the meantime, this guy, we're going to have him admitted in the hospital. If he walks a bit faster now... Okay, you know what? Let's stop for a second. Because this is the first time I actually have day and night. You know, like my hospital is open all the time. So maybe it's going to be a little bit different. But let's take a look at these people here. I, I only have like 13 minutes left in this day. So let me see. This guy, Robert Miller is waiting for microbial cultivation. Joseph Davis also just waiting for microbial cultivation. Patricia King we know what her problem is. ACE inhibitor we cannot give him that here. Uh, what else do you have? Anything that would be very important? Maybe we should have her also. Look at that. Uh, also maybe uh, put, put him there. Peter King. Oh, waiting for... Uh, wait a minute. Did I make him wait too long? Differential diagnosis for you, not from Hugh. Do you have enough time to go over to Elizabeth? I don't know. If you don't, you're probably going to go home. And you're going to be an other of our failures. So I think we, we really didn't do too much here, I guess. Okay, how about if we put you... I mean, this guy could also be put in... Observation. 
How many people do we have? Hold on. That we don't know what to do with. Nobody here. These two. Paul Brown, we are already treating him, I believe. He's just waiting. He shouldn't wait. Because he has some really serious shit going on. Susan Anderson, okay, she, we don't know anything about her. So that's one. Two people here, come on. Two people here, red eye only, and we're waiting for that. So again, have no idea what your problem is. Charles Green, uh, we are already treating you. Okay. Nancy Jones. We don't know what your problem is. Okay. All right. Um, and we have here. Oh, that's so many people. So here's what I'm going to try to do. Okay. I don't have that many, those many bats. But I'm going to create those many bats. And let's see if I can send them right away to hospitalization, or it's already too late. I might be too late here. So let's actually do a little thing here, which is, I actually just stopped here, and I'm gonna build things here, quickly. Prefabs. We're gonna have, for you guys, I really don't like it, but we have a ton of money, so we can do it, and we should do it anyway, sooner or later. So let's go for a nurses, uh, nurses station. We have two. Yeah, we need that. Nurses station. The door is going to be on this side. That's fine. Let's go an observation room. Big one. Should it be here, or should this be this one? I'm going to have it here. No, actually, I'm going to have it here. Okay. So we actually quickly built in, build up everything here. We're going to have an encore room, not encore room, it's an encore room. Encore doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, we're going to put it right here. Facing this way is fine. Okay. And we're going to have... I'm thinking of how many trauma centers do we have right now? Do we need right now? I'm not sure. I don't think we need many. I think what we need to do right now is just hold on just normal things like a cleaning closet uh, so we're gonna actually go and copy one of those how do you do that here here copy we're gonna just have one of these we're going to go up here, and we're going to copy it right here, and we're going to copy it right here. Okay. And uh, we're going to have... Yeah, let's just like this whole area actually can be even shut down for now. Because let's just have one trauma center. How about that? Just one trauma center here and it should look that way so the closest to the elevator oh 
why. This prefab is not allowed in... There you go. So what did I do? Did I use a wrong department maybe? Could be. I don't know what happened, but now it works. And then we go... Let's just quickly build in our do, 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 here floor we're gonna go down again we're gonna check this floor here we're gonna go up and we're gonna basically just fill it up like this actually until here is fine until here is fine until here is fine and here and i'm actually thinking of walling this thing off right now so that i don't even need more space here right now i'm gonna have one trauma center only Okay, so let's try that. We're going to have our favorite color scheme as as always. Hold on, I have to go from the uh, other side. We already have kind of ugly things here, right? So we actually have to go here, 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 let's turn around, we're gonna have to put all these ones as well. Here, 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 actually, sorry, all the way here, 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 and those as well. And then what we're going to do is actually block this whole place off. Now how it looks on the outside, I don't give a RFS. Excuse me. And I'm going to wall this one off as well. Okay, so we do have like a, a mini place. Okay, what time is it, guys? Uh-oh. Um... Unfortunately, I'm kind of need to hold on. Oh, hold on. I have to make sure this one first. Cleaning closet. It has to be my cleaning closet. Okay, that is important. Okay. And the corridors, everything is all mine, right? Okay, good. So, we need to... How long have you been streaming, guys? Let's take a look. All right. Um, okay, I think we have to stop here, guys. I'm sorry about that. I need to go, but... We're going to have to, uh, give me a quick second, guys.
Okay, guys, we got a couple minutes more. Not much. Let's just get one person here. Hold on. One person here, as long as he doesn't have really bad habits or anything, I'm all good with him. Um, you know what? Let's just get this one because he's cheap. And night time, let's get... That one is very expensive, I don't want. Mm. This one is quite cheap. It is not efficient and not quick or anything. Oh, this one is not bad. Okay, you are a bit more expensive. That's fine. Let's get a couple of doctors here. Uh, general acute. Okay, this one is very good. I think I need... Oh, but very expensive. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? And he's alcoholic. I don't want an alcoholic. I don't want that one either. Okay, this one, he sucks. Uh, so maybe we'll, we will have to teach him. That's fine. That's okay. And one for the night. Okay, uh, this one is very good though. Okay, this one is very good, crazy expensive. So we're gonna, we might end up losing money left and right, but... Uh, let's get this one and let's get a couple of nurses, just two of them. Okay, she's thinking we don't want patient care. Only 20%, come on, give me another one. 33, okay, this one is better, I don't want a receptionist. But apparently that's all I have, so at least, sh oh, ho, 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 what else? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, for now we're just going to get this one and we have to have for daytime. Uh, we have patients get only 7%. That's so sick. Okay, let's do this one. And for nighttime we're also going to have... Oh, this one is not bad. The 28, that's not high, but all right. And nine time. She's an early bird, unfortunately, but she's not bad. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, night time. Patient scare, seven. Oh, she's mean, unpleasant, and also, uh, no, 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 no. Let's just get, just somebody who is fine, okay? This one is going to be fine. All right, so we have everything we need to actually open this section, right? And now let's see if we have enough. Okay, let's go back to the game. We, we did open this area for now. And let's just go down and let's do quickly. Let's go through our patients and let's actually hospitalize them. I'm just going to put everybody in the hospital. I think I should have done, what I should have done is I should have run the whole thing first by itself. Okay, Robert Miller, what do you have? Uh, you are waiting, whatever, you know, go to observation. I hope that they actually going to do that. Joseph Davis, he's waiting for me actually. Again, doesn't look like anything really serious, so just do observation. Patricia King, we already know what your problem is. Um, you are in, but that's a neurology problem. You cannot get that in, we don't have the time, so... I'm actually going to put him onto observation as well. I'm going to put everybody in observation. Let's see what happens. I mean, not everybody. Let's see what they have. Like this one as well. We just don't have the time for you. So, observation. We have a ton of... Good thing is we have a ton of 
observation place. Now, this one is already an observation. Okay, so we have all these people going to be observation on observation. That's good. How about this one? Peter King, he is, I already sent him over. Hold on, David Wilson, I'm stupid. David Wilson, he cannot be in observation here. However, we cannot do anything right now with him. It's too late. So I'm going to send him over to ER. And I'm going to get get him observation. And let's see, maybe tomorrow we're going to find it out. Or next time, I mean, that I actually made a big mistake. Nobody's here. Okay, these two people. Uh, you already being treated, right? Going to chair, you have 13 minutes. Hopefully you can make it. We really need you to make it, okay? And we... Because you have... Um, let's just make this way. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with you. I'm going to follow you. Where was you? Charles Green is... There, let's remember him. Nancy Jones, you gonna just go for... Again, since you don't know what is your problem, we're actually gonna go to ER observation. What else do we have? Hold on. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Charles Green, okay. Neurology. What do you have? Beta blockers. He is waiting, which is certainly not a good thing because he is. I'm going to send him actually to the TC hospitalization. Okay, we can do that. Susan Anderson, what do you have? Just some red eye, really nothing important, but I'm going to send you over to just observation. And I think we're kind of done, right? Hold on. I think we're done. Uh, this person, Susan Anderson, he is already there. Okay, so I believe right now nobody is anywhere. Everybody is going to the observation here. Okay, everybody is going to observation. I already gave them all of them. And let's see what happens, okay? Uh, might be a total cluster F, if you know what I mean. But let's just see. Which one was the one that had the... Was it Peter King? There was one that actually I was treating. Paul Brown, maybe. E... No. Which one was the one? In here. Paul Brown. Okay, so let's go back. Let's actually follow him. Let's see where he is. And let's just speed up and let's see what happens. Okay, Joseph Davis, we already told you observation. He's going to bed, so... We don't have to do anything with you. One person we had to send away. Let's see if we can keep all the rest and then we can just simply go and happily finish our day. Everybody's going to go for observation. The only person is, hold on, where is the guy? I want to see this guy. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There was one guy, this guy, Charles Green. Where are you? Okay, that's the one I want to see, that's all. Clinic open, and look at that. Charles Green is going to be sent away. Oh, that's horrible. And I cannot even send him... I cannot even do anything with him. Can I, like, go back and just send him TC hospitalization? Okay, he is going to bed. Charles Green, where are you? Wolf filling needs. Robert Miller. 
he is already idle in bed. Perfect. Charles Green, what happens to you? Where are you? <coughs> let's hurry up a little bit. So, let's see. Okay, so still there are two people who were kind of gone away somehow. Okay, Nancy Jones, fine, but I don't... Is this dangerous? Not really, let's just go. He's already on observation. So... Let's just say this is the problem, right? And let them just treat it, correct? Yeah. What do you mean going a chair? He's... No, 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 no. He's not going to the chair. What are you talking about? Come on, hurry up. No need. Quick. He's supposed to go to observation. Beta blockers, he's there already. Okay. Ready for plan. Okay. Um, I don't care about it right now. Hold on. Okay, so some people apparently got... Yeah, unfortunately, I think we lost a few people. Okay, so I don't think that we can go any further right now because apparently we did lose some people. I don't know why. How many people are right now here? Five people only. So five people are in hospital beds. And pretty much everybody has left. So we really did a lousy job, to be honest. So we have to improve on that. How many people? There are one, two, three people here. And we have... I don't see anybody here. I don't see, oh, maybe there are two in the TC. One here, and maybe one up there. No. So where is this guy? Idle in bed. Where is this guy? Idle in bed. Where is this woman, Patricia King? She's transported to examination. Okay. So I think we made a mess of we made a mess of it, guys. Next time we have to figure it out better. But anyway, it's okay. Let's just finish it here. We're gonna see it. Hey, Brittany, how are you doing? I'm just finishing streaming right now. Unfortunately, I made a big mess of it. I t apparently, what I should have done is probably just let the hospital run its own hospitalization and then decide what we do about it. So, yeah, I messed it up. I did build a bit of extra place here and apparently it doesn't even been used. It's not even been used. We didn't make, we made a ton of money actually. That's a good thing, I guess. But it's still not a good day. I think we kind of messed it up. So I'm going to continue it next time. Sorry, Brittany, I got to go. It's, I'm already actually a bit late. But uh, we have some collapse. Uh, you know, we have some people who might collapse and whatever. I try to keep everybody in the hospital and look at look what we have. We still have six people left, unfortunately. At least we managed to keep five people around. So it's a mixed bag. It's it's not as good as it should be. Anyway, um, thank you guys for coming. I, if you feel you know, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button and the subs uh, subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, 
because many of you might not. And I do hope that you come again next time. Thank you and see you guys later. Bye-bye.